everybody. Welcome to uh, another episode of uh, Multiplex Movie Melee. Got ourselves uh, a tournament match in our uh, uh, summer series tournament, if you will. We didn't, I guess we just thought, you know, that name was cool. I don't know if we didn't want to name it something else, but, you know, it's only 16 people here. Uh, you know, I feel like explain a lot. The match today, Payson Johnson versus Amadou Moses. Uh, very interesting. Got uh, everybody calling people out. At Payson, all that rue here today. Uh, got Dylan with me. Uh, Dylan, uh, th did I miss anything? No, I think you covered it pretty well. Yeah, I think this is an interesting one. Uh, this is actually uh, it's interesting story, I guess, with Payson coming into this uh, match because he was, uh, as uh, most people know, he was supposed to play for a title at the end of last year. He won a number one contender uh, ship match. Uh, unfortunate circumstances uh, led to him not being able to participate in that title match. So he's technically coming in on like a big win streak, uh, like I think three game winning streak. So I know he's uh, very hungry to get back to that number one contendership spot. And Rue has been uh, like just fantastic in uh, melee since he's returned uh, from being gone for a while. Uh, he's looked very impressive so far this season. Uh, getting a very impressive victory over Joe Fairley. So I'm very excited to see how these two match up because I think they're also very different in terms of like what their strengths are and what kind of movies they typically watch. So I'm very excited to see how that all pans out. That it is. Uh, bring him first. The, uh, I guess, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know how to say, just the, the, the first person I'll we'll bring in. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Scott Harvey, the manager. Uh, guys, uh, save me from talking. What is this bullshit? Aren't I like the fifth or sixth ranked person here and I get called out? So now I have to play the guy who was supposed not nah, fucking. I don't care. All I know is that I'm hoping for a big upset. So anybody, I'm gonna try my best to get this man the fuck up out of here for the rest of y'all. And we'll see what happens. Scott, the my good voice. news. The good news is, uh or the bad news is I'm a faceless voice. The good news is uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm undefeated as a manager when being a faceless voice so um that bodes well yeah anytime there's a there's a call out match i feel like there's a little something extra for rue to prove not that he needs to prove anything more um but it i think it just adds that extra motivation and yeah it's going to be a great match and yeah i'm sure if if rue's able to come through here which i believe that he will uh he's going to be the hero to everybody else in this tournament all right sounds about right uh Take uh, Scott out here. Bring in, uh, bring in Pace and Johnson. I don't know how to set people up here. Usually, I'd say the higher rank. Technically, there's no ranks. It's really weird. Pace, the challenger, the challenger, whatever. <laughs> Pace, how you doing? Uh, I thought from after a few weeks ago we were going to retire the word hero in this league, but uh, I digress. Uh, look, uh. A part of me wants to say, like, I'm just taking it easy and everything. At the at the same time, like Dylan said, uh, when you get that close and you have to drop out for very, very personal reasons, uh, it doesn't really sit well with you. So I feel like I do have something to prove here tonight. And I just want to show everyone um, that I should have been playing in that title match that I got there too. Uh, Rue is someone I've never played before. I'm excited to play him tonight. But... Um, I did call him out. Um, it, it sucks, but there's no way to say this. I called I, I called the person out because I think I can I can beat the person in a match. Like I let's let's just get that out of the way. So Rue, let's have a great match. Yeah, I mean I, I would have done the same thing. So yeah. no hard feelings. All righty then. <laughs> Excuse me. Get into round number one, which uh, it's like every uh. Whiteboard round number one you guys have ever played. You're going to uh, get eight questions from eight uh, general movie categories. You have 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. And at the end of that time, I'll ask uh, that you uh, show and verbalize your answer. You also get uh, three repeats and a challenge used throughout the match. Uh, you ready to go? I do like that me and Rue are blue marker versus red marker. Very fun. We set that up. We did not. Interesting. Uh, your first question would come in the category of mystery thriller. Huh. Who directed Mulholland Drive? Mulholland Drive. Did you say Mulholland Drive? That's crazy. It's, it's going to happen. <laughs> ha -ha. Everyone laugh at Mark. Ha ha. You said a word wrong. Just kidding. You're doing great, Mark. 
It's going to happen at some point. So, I mean, did ask for it, I guess, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, Payson. It's 75 degrees on this Friday morning. Got you, Dylan. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Root. David Lynch. David Lynch is correct. Tied up one to one. Moving on. So your next uh, question will come in the category of coming of age. What 70s movie does Charlie go with his friends to see repeatedly in The Perks of Being a Wallflower? Yeah, I guess me picking on you on the last question, that's payback for you picking on me and testing when I said Madame Webb for a question in a previous match. It's not, it's not a question. for. I should stop talking. How are you doing, Mark? <laughs> doing all right. Sorry, I didn't want to really bring it up. I couldn't remember the film or not. Five. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> One. Pens down. Uh, let's go to Rue. I don't even think it's in the 70s. Uh, thinking in the room. Uh, Payson. I really should watch Perks Being a Wallflower. A Rocky Horror Picture Show? A Rocky Horror Picture Show is correct. Uh, Scott would like to be brought in, please. You got sure. it. Uh, there he is. Okay. Can I, can I hear the question again, please? Uh, yeah. What 70s movie does uh, do Charlie go with his friends to see repeatedly in the Perks of Being a Wallflower? They don't really go to see the movie. They go to see a performance of the... It's like a performance along with the movie by, like, his friends. Like, they dress up in costumes. They perform the songs. It's, it's not... It, I feel like it is misleading to say that they're going to see the movie. Um, do you think we can win it? Because knowing me, I might challenge later. <laughs> I, I, see, I wish I could just remember because I think they are maybe watching the movie and there's a performance along with the movie. So just for that reason, maybe hold off if you think you'll need it later. Uh, of course, you can never know if you'll need it later, but um, never know. It, but uh, it's, I, it's, I, it's it's a little bit of gray area. So I, 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 I I'd, yeah, I'd say hold off on it. All right. All righty. Uh, no challenge on that. So then we'll be moving on. To uh, your next question, the category of actors and actresses. Who appears in The Departed, Broadcast News, and Mars Attacks? We just gotta wipe our brow a little bit on that one. You gotta make me and uh, Dylan work on that one. And <laughs> no, that can go either way. Uh, five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pens down. Go to Payson. Jack Nicholson. Hey, Rue. It's Jack. Jack Nicholson is correct. Going three to two. Go on next question. In the category of the 1980s, Charles Grodin plays an accountant trying to escape the mob in what 80s film? So you an actual accountant, or you just like do accounting work? I'm not an accountant yet. I'm studying to become one. Oh, okay. Going for a degree in accounting, yes. Okay. Wasn't sure. Yeah. You know, don't do crime things, you know? Uh, five. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, yeah, it's four. Rue. I just said dog day afternoon. Uh, Payson. Movie rocks. Midnight run. Midnight Run is correct. Well, I didn't lead a uh, four to two. Going to your next question. Pace uh, uh, lead four to two. Go ahead, next question in the category of Oscars. What's going on? What's going on? Someone's echo audio is echoing a bit. But... Okay, it might be fine. I thought my audio, something was coming in weird on my own. Let me mute. How do I sound now? Uh, I think you sound okay. Uh, I'm not hearing any echo. Well, no, it should be good. Okay. All right. I'm just going to kind of start from the beginning there. Like, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Pace and Wyden lead uh, four to two. Going into your next question, the category of Oscars. Name one of the films that lost bet best original song to No Time to Die. Uh, 
how much time would you say is like sufficient amount of time to die? Well, according to this this title, none. Mm. Like, you know, no time at all. You know, speaking you know, which is weird. You know, I guess you know you need some time. I don't know, maybe like yeah. a minute. I don't. Know. I'd agree. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Uh, to go. Yeah, pace. One of the films, so Encanto. Okay, Rue. Encanto. Encanto is correct. Uh, we also would have accepted uh, Belfast, Four Good Days, and, or King Richard, apparently. Oh, Tentacles, yeah. So then your next question will come in the category of sports. The Waterboy is set in what southern U.S. state? shocked the uh, you know good on these players for not going for the obvious answer on the last question of four good days you know you know it felt like low-hanging fruit you know yeah everybody remembers the uh you know the snip four yes. good days got got enough I, I i can't remember the actual word you know because i'm stupid you know <laughs> Three, two, one pens down uh roof louisiana Payson. Uh Texas. Louisiana is correct. Uh, so Rue, and one point closer, uh, five to four, still Payson's lead. Uh, going into your penultimate question of the category, uh, biopics. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> who stars as Paul Ruja ba Bajina? Paul Ruja Bajina in Hotel Rwanda. <laughs> I saw that last name and I'm like, man, I'm I'm glad uh, Mark is lead hosting and taking the odd questions. <laughs> I got really scared. I'm like, all right, we just got to knuckle up and just get through. <laughs> Hopefully, none of you guys ask for a repeat. Five, four, three, two, no one. Down, <laughs> Mason. Uh, Buck Swope himself, Don Shingle. Rue. Pay me my money, Don Cheadle. Uh, thank God you both knew it. Don <laughs> Cheadle is correct. I certainly didn't help out with that. Finish <laughs> it up, Dylan. Final question in round number one will come in the category of romance. What is the job of Sabrina's father in 1954's Sabrina? It's a decent little film here. I suppose. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen, you know, either one. I don't know. I wouldn't call it like great or even like very good, but it's like, eh, it's decent. Oh, gotcha. It exists. Uh, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Rue. I said an art dealer. All right, Payson. Okay, if this is wrong, it's going to be embarrassing that I put chauffeur, but I wasn't sure how to spell chauffeur, so I put show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, chauffeur is correct. Uh, <laughs> we would have accepted uh, okay. any type of spelling. Uh, so with that, Payson gets a score up to seven. Uh, Rue at five. Uh, is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yep. All right, great. With that, we'll move into round number two, which is our wheel round, in which uh, both our, con both our uh, competitors will get a chance to spin our wheel. Uh, they like what they keep with. They like what they keep. They like what they land on the first time. They can keep it. If not, they can elect to spin again. Good lord! Uh, you're gonna get five questions in whatever category you land on. We're two points apiece. Uh, if not, you can uh, check down to multiple choice for one point. Uh, they're stealing here, so you know. You guys know. Watch your ass. Uh, the categories uh, you can spin on today are. Uh, 2000s black cinema and comic book movies selected by Rue, as well as uh, directed by Joel Cohen, and uh, directors selected by Payson, as well as actors and actresses, romance, family, drama, and spinners, an opponent's choice. Payson, you are ahead. Uh, would you like to spin first or defer? I will go second. You got it. Let's bring in Scott and Rue. This will be your spin of the wheel.
And you land on family. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Um, well, we've talked about it. I think we it's not bad, but we can spin again here. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 go for it. See what happens. Uh, Take we'll our chances. Here. Yeah. All righty. So your second spin, you got to keep it. You land on this time, and it lands on two thousands right. black <laughs> cinema. You got this. All right. Just take it slow. Let's see how this right. goes. <laughs> they got the wheel by Scott. Hey, Dylan, why don't you read these questions for 2000s Black Cinema? Sure thing. All right, so your first question in the category of 2000s Black Cinema. In Love and Basketball, what NBA team is Quincy playing for when the film jumps to 1993? LA Lakers. That is correct for two points. Your next question. You will find characters named Tasty Freeze, Cream Corn, and Gunsmoke in what film? Three, two. Okay. Your options are A, American Gangster, B, Black Dynamite, C, Soul Plane, or D, Brown Sugar. I'm going to say Black Dynamite. That is correct for one point. Your third question. Who plays Tupac in Notorious? Anthony Mackie. Correct for two points. So now your penultimate question in this category. What state does Coach Carter primarily take place in? California. Correct for another two points. So Rich your final, so now your final uh, question in this category. In next Friday, what city does Craig move to? Oh my gosh. Oh no, I don't want to screw this up. Four, three. To repeat the question. All right, that is your first repeat. Your question again. In next Friday, what city does Craig move to? Oh, no. Five, four, three, two. Epic. Cucamonga. One. That is correct for two points. All right. I didn't know if it was Santa or Sam Cucamonger or what. <laughs> Cucamonger cracker killers. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, that uh, that was a clean sweep of the category from Rue getting the score up to 14. Pacing still at seven. That's what you got, uh, old Dylan. That is what I have, yep. All righty. Pulling back at the wheel. And this would be Pacing's first spin. Brought to you by uh, Advil, apparently. Uh, no, nope. <laughs> I can't say that, but uh, hey, look at that. You get uh, land on directed by Joel Cohn. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I'll, I'll keep that. Oh, look at you look double spinner's choice, what everybody loves to see. I'll give you a question directed by Joel Cohen. Yep, first question in the lady killers, Garth has what medical ailment? Will you take just what happens, or do you need the name? I need the name. IBS. That is correct for two points. Like, please don't. I'm not sure what that stands for. But I know. <laughs> oh, okay, get into it. Next question. 
Alice and her brother Gilbert are traveling to what U.S. state by wagon train in the segments of The Ballad of Buster Scruggs titled The Girl Who Got Rattled? Multiple choice. All right, multiple choice options are A, Oregon, B, Iowa, C, Nebraska, or D, Idaho. Iowa. That is incorrect going over the roof for the one point steal. Is it A, Oregon, B, Iowa? C, Nebraska, or D, Idaho? Oregon. That is correct for one point. Facing your next question. In no country for old men, where is the ho where in the hotel does Llewellyn Moss hide the briefcase of cash? Uh, air guns. That is correct for two points. Okay. The question. How does Brewster kill Tolliver in the man who wasn't there? Five, four. Repeat the three. question. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Right. Your question again. Let's repeat. How does Brewster kill Tolliver in The Man Who Wasn't There? Yeah, all the, all the, all the. Multiple, sorry. Uh, yeah, oh, multiple. Okay. Uh, the multiple choice options are A, shoots him, B, strangles him, C, stabs him, or D, beats him to death. Strangles him? That is incorrect going to the roof for the one point steal. Is it A, shoots him, B, strangles him, C, stabs him, or D, beats him to death? He beats him to death. That is correct for one point. All right. Final question of the category, Payson. Who plays private investigator Gus Preach in Intolerable Cru Cruelty? Tolerable cruelty. Cedric the Entertainer. That is correct for two points. That Payson gets a score up to 13, but with those steals, uh, Rue gets a score up to 16. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yep. All right, with that, we're going to round number three, which is our uh, Pick Your Poison round, which you know, I guess our new Pick Your Poison round keeps seeing that. Uh, in which our competitors uh, have uh, drafted from our list of general categories. And now they will draft from the, those eight categories again to uh, figure out what they will answer in round number three. Uh, they can, they're going to get uh, questions of point values of one, two, three, or four points. Uh, once a category is drafted by a competitor, it cannot be answered. That category cannot be answered by their opponent. Uh, the categories that they can select from tonight are fandom, directors, comic book movies, Oscars, action adventure, actors and actresses, recent releases, and the 2010s. Uh, we're going to go uh, select those categories right now, and uh, hopefully we come back and finish this one out. All right. Back our guy, our competitors. I selected the categories. We're ready to go. Uh, we will go until uh, one until uh, we are out of questions or one player has been mathematically eliminated. Uh, we will start of, uh, with the player who is behind, uh, which is Payson. So Payson, uh, what would you like to what what category would you like for your one point question? I'll take my one in uh, comic book movies. Comic book movies. Ready. Well, since I asked you a question in round number two, Dylan will give you questions in round number three. All right, so your one-point question in the category of comic book movies. Who stars as Harvey Picar in American Splendor? 
Paul Giamatti. That is correct for one point. Short to 14, uh, still behind. So, what'd you like to take for your two pointer? Uh, I will take actors and actresses. Got it. Actors and actresses. All right. Your question in actors and actresses Who appears in American Graffiti, Apocalypse Now, and The Conversation? Harrison Ford. That is correct for two points and the tie game. Okay, with that, uh, Rue does have more questions, so we will bounce it over to him. Uh, what would you like to take for your one pointer? 2010s. 2010s, gotcha. I'm ask you your questions around number three. First question What government agency does Rod work for in Get Out? The TS motherfucking A. There we go. <laughs> uh, we will also accept the TS motherfucking A of a TSA is correct for one point. <laughs> Back over to Pace. Would you like to take a three pointer? I'll take my three in Oscars. Got it. So, your three point question in the category of Oscars. Sean Levy received his only Oscar nomination in what category? Five, four, three, two, one. That is your second repeat. Your question again. Sean Levy received his only Oscar nomination in what category? Best visual effects. It's unfortunately incorrect. We're looking for best picture for Arrival. Shit. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Here's the rub, folks. Uh, uh, Payson's still behind one point. Uh, he has his four. Pointer left in directors, uh, which he needs to hit to uh, send it back over to Root. So your question in directors. The Great McGinty is the directorial debut of whom? Preston Sturgis. That is correct for four big points. That Payson gets a score up to 20. Taking the lead, we'll go back over to Rue. Uh, what'd you like to take for your two-point question? Um, so here's my thing, Scott. I honestly would feel better three and four um, with Phantom and recent releases and take action at, at two, honestly. Uh, okay. So uh, action adventure at two. All right. Action adventure it is. And I'm currently down th three points, right? That is correct. We're at 17. Three point, uh, two point question in action and uh, action adventure. Who stars opposite Denzel Washington as straight lace cop Jake in Training Day? He's an author. That is correct for two points. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I I don't want to. We're fine. We're fine. Look, we're not. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're moving. So uh, here's the deal. Uh, there is two questions left. Uh, if he gets either one of them, he will win the match. Who would you like to take for your three point question? Do you think Scott the point value is really going to be different? Um, like the questions are going to be any different, or they're kind of going to be the same? Um, then I, we, we have, we have, we have recent and phantom left. Then I would rather like, if I miss one, I feel more comfortable with phantom at four to try to do it and then go recent right now. Then they're not going to be that. Giant. So recent, recent releases. All right. Recent releases. Three. All right. 
Just a reminder, you do have two repeats left. Your question and recent releases. In what recent release will you find a rivalry between two high schools named Rockbridge Falls and Huntington? Bottoms. And your winner, Abaru Moses. The correct answer was Bottoms. Uh, wow. Uh, okay, uh, take out Rue. Um, go, uh, go over to Payson. God, this feels weird. Should done. But uh, that that was uh, that was a really that was a really great match. I think on both sides, Payson. Uh, you. You really rocked it in there first round, like you usually do seven points. Uh, and I mean, it's 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 all it's also one of those games where both people got their strengths and just it just kind of seemed to like come to who had just the slight edge there in certain points. Of, either way, I think you played a phenomenal game. But how do you feel? Um, not the best, but I want to just say, uh, to Haru, he played the absolute better game tonight. It was strength versus strength. He knew his strength much better than I did. Like there, there's just no excuse. I strength is always just something I've, I've struggled with. I that that is directed by Joel Cohen, something I always thought I knew, but just I should have rushed up more. But yeah, I I also missed my three in Oscars, and he kept it out for round three. So I just want to say, great game, Domaru. He absolutely earned this game tonight. Um, absolutely, uh, this does um, this does end your time in the tournament. Uh... You're definitely going to be brought back again. Uh, what, what are you looking to do when I bring you back? I'm probably going to be at the end of the next picture. Um, I'll play anyone, honestly. All righty. Uh, with that, send you back. Say thank you for showing up, Payson. And uh, what the hell? Okay, that's weird. All right, bringing your, uh, your winner today. I'm going to do Moses. Manager. You're all fucking yeah. welcome. <laughs> there it is. Hey, let's go. Well, well, Rui, you did what you, you did what you needed to do round one. You you were able to keep pace and pace him pretty well. Uh, you did what I think a lot a lot of players at least strive to do is they do pretty well in their round two category. Uh, you did that, and then you just kind of, just kind of stayed the course, and you're just able to kind of keep a gap between him the the whole game and uh you're able to pull this one out uh, how do you feel i feel fucking great um i won first and foremost Payson. you are a beast of a competitor man um i, I i'm gonna say 75 percent of the time you win this match um but i'm glad this 25 percent falls on me today um and uh i now know joel cohen movies which is great uh, yeah so that's gonna help me out a lot um, and I was, I was low key. I told Scott before today, I, I was low key scared of my own strength because it's really, really damn broad. And you could have asked me about movies that I just haven't seen in a long time. I was good. And, and the one that I didn't know, I was able to, to, to navigate, to make it make sense. Um, I'm glad I went for the Cucamonga Cracker Killers. Cause I was fucking California has all the Santa Santas and Sands and all those. I was like, don't have a thing in front of it, but I, I couldn't not go for it on the next Friday question. So I'm yeah. very, very happy. I think, isn't it Rancho yeah. Cucamonga in real life too? I think so. It's not, I think it was even like a fictional location, which yeah, great pull, but yeah, no, you said it. I think the X factor here was doing the homework on those Joel Cohen movies because those two sure. steals ended up being massive uh, i think in the the ultimate outcome um i also like payson did not know that sean levy had a oscar nomination and now i have even less respect for the oscars um but uh payson played a great game and obviously we know he's going to come back extremely strong uh in the future and it's it's very exciting that uh rue got this opportunity and made the most of it uh uh yeah, so uh, this means you'll you'll be moving on, and um, I guess like what like he's gonna get a chance to pick or like I I I oh, okay I mean I, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be in you're gonna be in the tournament. There's a bunch of people still left. Uh, who would you want to play? I guess or you want a sneak peek? You want to give it away? I don't know what you want to do. Um, I I called him out earlier in la at the end of last year. I'd still love to play him. 
Uh, if Tiz is still around, Anthony Tisdall, love to play that man. I, I like playing him in, in any match, so I'll I'll go for it. All right, he may or may not be in it. We're uh, I'm honestly not sure. Thank you again for showing up, Rue. Uh, taking out Scott as well, Dylan. This was a hell of a match, uh, but uh, please, yeah, uh, put a bow on this for us. Yeah, this is an incredible match. Great back and forth, uh, and just a, a phenomenal performance from Amaru. Honestly, like Payson, obviously is a Titan. One of the most, I believe, he on the website he's listed as like the most uh, accurate player of all time, uh, which is kind of crazy. I could be getting that wrong. Maybe don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah, he's really tough to beat. So for Amaru, I think like he did everything he needed to do, uh, keeping pace in round one, which is where he tends to, pace and tends to pull away in a lot of his matches is in round one. Uh, and then just uh, destroying his uh, category in 2000s Black Cinema and even doing the homework in Joel Cohen, which paid off massively and getting the steals. Like it was just all around. It was a phenomenal game all around for Amaru today. And yeah, it's just a really impressive performance. So yeah, I'm, I know Payson will be back. He still played great today. Like he still put up 20 points more than most people put up in a match. Uh, so, you know, uh, it wasn't that Payson was having an off day. It was just Amaru was having a really, really on day. So, yeah, I think, yeah, this was a fantastic match. I'm excited to see where both players go from here. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Rue continues hot streak and Payson, yeah, 20 points is an infuriating number of points to have and still lose. Say that from experience. Yeah. Uh, not that'll do. That'll do it for us uh, for this episode of Multiplex Movie Melee. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for showing up. Uh, thank you, Payson. Uh, thank you, Amaru. Thank you, uh, our manager today, Scott, and uh, everybody here at Multiplex uh, keeps, who keeps the show running. Thank you, Dylan, for being here uh, for doing this with me. It was very helpful. <laughs> Be well, everybody. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Keep it taken. Bye.